John McCain issues nasty Trump statement, McCain went too far. President Donald Trump and John McCain have had a long-running feud ever since Trump made disparaging remarks about McCain's time as a POW during the Vietnam War. In return, McCain has billed himself as a die-hard never-Trumper. This week, McCain exposed his colors again by slamming President Trump's recent comments about Vladimir Putin's trustworthiness. There's nothing America first about taking the word of KGB colonel over U.S. intelligence community. There's no principal realism in cooperating with Russia to prop up murderous Assad regime. To believe otherwise is naive and places a national security at risk, McCain wrote on Twitter. McCain's comments come after Trump told the press on board Air Force One that he believes President Putin when he says that he did not interfere in the 2016 election. Former CIA and other intelligence officers have rushed to the media to say that President Trump is being played by Moscow. Putin is committed to undermining our system, our democracy, and our whole process. And to try to paint it any other way is, I think, outstanding and, in fact, poses a peril to this country, said former CIA Director John Brennan, another deep state operative, along with Clapper. Interestingly, the two men condemning Trump the loudest are Brennan and former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper. President Trump has called both of these men political hacks, which they are. There is plenty of evidence of this, now cited by the mainstream media as a, a paragon of virtue and an expert on intelligence. Clapper committed perjury in front of Congress when he falsely claimed that the NSA was not collecting data from ordinary American citizens. They're a disgrace, that's what they are. As for Brennan, the CIA that he ran was a thuggish organization that once broke into Senate computer files to suppress certain uncomfortable truths. Brennan has also been called an Obama loyalist, and there is plenty of proof that Brennan strongly influenced the FBI's decision to begin illegally wiretapping the Trump campaign in late 2016. McCain's complaint about Russia's interference in our democracy and our foreign policy is also unfounded. After all, Israel and pro-Israeli lobbies have far more power in Washington, D.C. than Moscow. Israel spies on the U.S. to a large extent, in addition to China, who has over 25,000 spies in the U.S., McCain is not a reliable expert when it comes to foreign policy matters anyway. McCain stumped for the U.S. invasion of Iraq in uh, 2003, the U.S. bombing of Libya in 2011, and has repeatedly supported the violent overthrow of the Assad regime ever since the Syrian civil war began six years ago. Thanks to McCain and Clinton, Libya is a hotbed of militia violence and terrorism and is a failed state. Iraq has been in a constant state of civil war since 2003, and President Assad, along with Russia and Iranian-backed militants, has all but expelled ISIS from Syria, and that's the truth. While President uh, Putin is certainly working for his own ends, which is understandable, President Trump is right to try and create a positive relationship with Moscow. The superpower is not one America needs as an enemy, and if being played by Russia is the only alternative to more pointless neocon wars, then Americans should support being played. Senator McCain has been a repeated vocal critic of President uh, Trump. Did he cross a line? with his most recent remarks. Of course he did. And McCain should retire because he's a disgrace to the country along with James Clapper and Brennan also. And add Mueller to that list too. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.